this is our store. So, man, now how you gon' hate us? We've been through a lot, so we ain't concerned with the haters. This is our story. Please believe it's inevitable. These boys incredible. Our schemes are heritable. This is our story. In times get hard, we thankful for the man above, the man I love. This is our story. That has given us, we stick out in the crowd like real. So it's time to fill it. Now I don't win in the game. Rock clouds out of their frame. Now it's best to say I'm headed for fame. I'm trying to raise a life, man. I got me a C. And when my well runs dry, then I'm anxious to go. Yeah, we did, man. We did. My crew can't let nothing take my focus, man. My name is Larry Smith. I'm a 6'2", 200-pound quarterback for Proper High School in Proper, Alabama. Oh, man, oh, man. If it had been a curl on the other side, it wouldn't have been that double oh, high. Man. Yeah. By far, he's the best quarterback in the state. Uh, any day, he's going to do nothing but get better. I've been a starter. This right here will be my upcoming uh, three, third year being a starter. So I've been a leader basically since my 10th grade year. Hey, yo, I said, if three people on you and one person on oh, AJ, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> A lot of folks know them, but they be like, um, like, um, are you guys gonna win state this year? How are you guys looking? <laughs> Basically, the same questions every, every, like every time they see me. I tell you one more time, we're gonna get that blue trophy, man. <laughs> it's his time, you know, it will definitely be on his shoulders. Um, we'll be looking to him instead of somebody else. Hopefully, this upcoming year, we can come out with a state championship because, um, I played in my state in the state championship my 10th grade year, and then I got in the third round, and we lost this past year, my junior year. You gotta get through Hoover. Who, who you feel like will be there again? So hopefully this year just come out with a ring. Go ahead, Tyler. Oh, I'm for real. Thank you. I'm Ryan Pugh. I go to Hoover High School. I'm an offensive tackle, and I graduated in 2007. That's how you're kind of recognized as the guy who moved from Spain Park to Hoover, wherever you go right now. I was just following my dad here. I never really was. I mean, we necessarily didn't want to leave Spain Park. We enjoyed our time there. Basically what happened, there was a coaching change at Spain Park High School and uh, the, there was a new head coach that came in and uh, they basically didn't want me to coach at Spain Park anymore, so I needed a job. Most people, you know, give Hoover crap for saying, no, they went out and recruited him. Hey, they went and got him, but he got a job here. So I decided, hey, why would you not move to a program like this and play your last year of football there and have as much fun as you can. It doesn't hurt that you're coming to an outstanding program that's won four state championships and the, the returning team that they have back is, is very good so they have a chance to win another one, you know, so uh, that made that decision I think even easier. I actually want to help them win a fifth state championship, maybe a national championship, that'd be great um, to finish your senior year out on that. I can't count on this man. Um, I looked at uh, Auburn, Tennessee, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Georgia Tech, uh, Vanderbilt, Louisville, Kentucky, everybody. I worked hard to get where I'm at, so to make myself the number one linebacker in the state, number five in the country, so I feel like I should be rewarded with a free uh, education. Linebacker is easy. I mean, hike the ball, and I know where to go. I see it easy. I grew up without my father. My mom is not, like, basically, she's really not in my life right now. It still felt like I was a baby. And, like, once I tried to be independent with everything, then she didn't like it. And then her attitude started to come out, really. And I started to see it. And then we got more and more distant in our relationship. And then it just went bad. His mom and stuff was tripping, trying to kill him and stab him and stuff with knives. and. We ain't trying to have none of our homeboys dead anyway. He got a big future ahead of him. I'm, I'm like, at the point now, I get stressed out. When I stress out, I mean, I'm like in a slump and I don't want to do anything. I mean, I basically, I get to a point where she's arguing with me, it's not going right. And I just want to talk to my mom, but I can't. And it like stresses me out. But and, I mean, now I'm just at the point where I can't talk to her. I mean, I have a substitute. I just talk to my girlfriend and it's fine. My name is Trina Jefferson, and I am Rolando McLean's girlfriend. His mom is the type of person she's like, she don't want anyone older than her son to really talk to him. Not really just older, but just any woman. I don't look at the age. I mean, it's, she's just a person, uh, a woman to me. I mean, I like her, and if I like her, then I'm going to be with her. That's how I feel about it. I know, I do take on that motherly role with him. I try not to, because I am his girlfriend. 
And I was the number one recruit for Alabama's boy. I was like that for a lot of teams. He was in Virginia with me the last time. And uh, we called the coach and told him, okay, I called the coach and told him <laughs> that we are gonna commit to Alabama because he told me that's where he felt comfortable. Maybe two weeks before I did the actual commitment, she was like, where are we going? I was like, where you wanna go? She was like, Alabama. So I was like, we was gonna wait until Christmas and that was gonna be the Christmas present. But she got tired of waiting. I didn't get tired of waiting, she got tired of waiting. I was happy with Auburn, but he went down there to Auburn and he called me. He didn't feel as comfortable as he did. And I could tell that in his voice, so I was like, no. She called Coach Ball. She was like, I just want to tell you that we're going to commit to Alabama. He was like, who is this? He was like, she said this is Orlando McClain's girlfriend. No, but we plan on marrying next year, though. Next year. If it was to the point where she had to stay in Virginia for her next, the next four or five years, I would probably go to Virginia. I have a job in California, uh, and I could go to USC, I would, or Tennessee, I would, or Vanderbilt, I would to be close there. That's how um, strong our relationship is. Next up on the recruit, I really want Chris as well. He's, on my, he's number one on my list. We're about to get ready to go to the Pep Rally for the state championship game. Two days, so down, baby.